Hi, I'm Lynn Bridgeford from the Aether Bios Clinic and Aether Bios Yoga. And today we're going to talk about breathing into the now and breathing into the new. We breathe all through our life. It's the first and last thing we ever do. So we're just taking the breathing and enhancing it to make it work for us better. Get comfortable and join me in a few minutes of breathing to bring the power of the breath and the power of the light into our being, into our physiology and into our lives. The most important thing we ever do is breathe. It's the first and last thing we ever do. And it gives us power when we're stressed, we hold our breath, we breathe less well. So if we just bring ourselves to a comfortable sitting position, you could lay down if you like to, bring your hands on your belly or rest them on your lap, have a nice straight spine, connect with the midline, roll the shoulders back and down, let the neck find a neutral position where it sits easily on top of your head. Today is the solstice. And it's a very important day. There's a conjunction with Saturn and Jupiter in Aquarius, which is said to be bringing us into the Aquarian age with lots of wonderful things happening. We've already seen a lot of cleansing and strange things happening in our lives. So let's breathe through it and welcome the new by being in the now. Whatever you want to change into your life or bring into your life or change the best way is to bring acceptance. The best way to accept anything is to breathe. Let's just bring the focus to the breath and bring ourselves to the present moment. Be, think of your whole torso as your lungs and just bring your focus to the breath. Allow the breath to find a natural rhythm you can close your eyes and take your focus inward. You may take a few sighs to start with. Focus on the whole torso and particularly the rib cage, opening out in all directions as you breathe in and relaxing down as you breathe out. Let it be effortless. The more we relax, the more we can breathe. Just notice the breath and settle into it. Without counting, we're aiming to have pretty much an even in-breath and an even out-breath. Focusing on the breathing and very gently, see if you can allow it to slow down. In other words, you breathe just as far, although just a little slower, effortlessly. Breathing brings us into the now. And now is really the only place we can ever be. So whether you're feeling good, bad or indifferent, breathe into the moment and be with whatever is. When things are easy, it's easier to be with the breath in the now. When they're less easy, it's just as important, if not more important to be with the breath. The breath is our power. Whatever you want to change in your life generally works by accepting where you are and how things are. We can't force this process when we can genuinely breathe into the moment and accept what is. We give ourselves the power we give our physiology the power. As we breathe in the air and the light, the prana, the life force, and we breathe out what we're done with. Keep it nice and gentle and relaxed. Just focus on watching the tide of the breath. Thoughts may come and go, allow them to be there. Resist any temptation to fight. Bring your focus to your breathing. Breathing in, breathing out. 
And if you've done this before and it works for you to focus on the front side back of the lower lung, middle lung and upper lung all at once, do that. Otherwise, just stay breathing with the entire lung or the entire torso, if you imagine that. You could even imagine your entire body breathing in, breathing out. Allowing yourself to be in the moment, in the breath. If you've done this before and it works for you to take a pause at the end of the inhale, let it be easy, let it be gentle, and just have a little pause in the breath at the end of the inhale and before the exhale. Do a few rounds of that gently in your own time or just breathing in and out. You breathe in the now, breathe in the light, breathe in the life force the prana. Breathe out, let go whatever you're done with. Let this be effortless, it's just an intention. So breathe in the good stuff, breathe out what you're done with. If you're doing the breath hold, you may want to let it go. Come back to just breathing in and out. And this time, take a little breath hold, gently and easily at the end of the exhale. So breathe in, breathe out, hold the breath only if it works for you. And at the end of the breath hold, you breathe in again. If you're not doing the breath hold, just breathe in, breathe out, let it go. Breathe in and be, breathe out and let it go. Just be with the breath. If you're familiar with breathing exercises, you may want to do a hold at the end of the inhale and the end of the exhale. Do it if it works for you. We're aiming to do about half the time holding the breath or as long as you breathed in. Avoid getting caught up in any counting. Just do it by feel and just hold as long as is comfortable. Again, if you're not doing the breath hold, just breathe in, breathe out. The more you relax, the more you can breathe. The more you breathe, the more you can relax. Take a few moments and a few rounds of the breath. Then gently let go of any breath holds. Gently let go on the front side back if you're doing it or the lower middle upper. And just allow the body to find a natural breath. Even just a few moments of good breathing. And just settle your system, calm your vagus nerve, calm your anxieties and your stress system. Give you more oxygen in your blood. We call it liquid light and on this day where we are going into more light in the northern hemisphere and where we have this wonderful solstice and the start of a whole new age. Breathe in the power, breathe in to be and just be with the breath. Be gentle with yourselves and have a wonderful, wonderful solstice. Thank you so much. Thank you for joining me. I'm passionate about sharing my yoga journey and all the wonderful things that yoga has to offer for our life and our benefit. And I really look forward to sharing more with you and hope you join me more on my journey. Please like, subscribe, chat to me, ask me any questions and connect with me on my other channels. There's YouTube, there's Instagram, there's LinkedIn, my Facebook page, my website. So thank you so much. That's Lynn Bridgeford, Aether Bioshoga.